Gender selection has been around for over 20 years for medical reasons, because there are certain diseases which occur only in one gender, usually males. They're so-called sex-linked diseases, meaning they're transmitted through the female, but only males express them. And there are other diseases which have priorities in one gender or the others, which are less clearly defined. So, uh, gender selection for that kind of purpose has been around for a very long time. Gender selection for social reasons, which is increasingly uh, the, 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 the larger volume uh, in the marketplace, uh, is, is a relatively newer phenomenon. That has been in practice only for approximately 10 years. Uh, but that is the much more rapidly growing aspect uh, of gender selection. Uh, and we call it gender selection for family balancing purposes uh, because uh, we require that couples who go through the process at least have one child before and uh, we offer the gender selection process only to balance for that first child or as is the case in the vast majority of, of patients who approach us for this, couples who have four girls and say uh, we have a perfectly fine family and we are done having kids, but if you guarantee us uh, that our next one is a boy, we'll give it one more try. And so that is usually the, the social circumstance for gender selection.